continue like that. Life is not like that. At least not the life that Jesus came from heaven for. Let's just finish. Jesus is going, no. There's nothing wrong with finishing well. Tell anybody, finish well. Finish My well. God, I'm coming there. I'm coming there. Coming there. Look at this verse. He says, he said, for where is workmanship? Created in Christ Jesus unto what good works. Tell anybody, good, good works. Say good works. Good works. Not bad works. Good Not noisy works. Not strugg struggleful works. Not stressful works. Good works, excellent works. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible says Jesus Christ was anointed by the Holy Ghost and he went about doing good. It takes the anointing to do good works. Don't get used to, don't get used to, don't get used to the mess. Don't refuse to settle for the mess. Tell anybody, God has the best for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Refuse to settle for less because God has his best for you. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. It's the anointing that brings you into that place of his best. If you look at the scripture and you read for it, it says, which God has before ordained that we should walk in. God's, God's plan, God's desire is to see good works every day. Tell me about God is programmed, has programmed me to do good works. You see, God, God, what God wants to see every time and every day, like he did in the book of Genesis from verse 1. The Bible says when he came and he saw, then he said, it was good. Hallelujah. Amen. When today ends, when you look back at the day, that's what God did. Every day God would look back at the day. Tell anybody you need to look back. Look back. At the day, at the week, at the month, and say, it is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's good news all around. It's what? No, you are saying it. You are saying it like you are saying it for me. Amen. So me, there is good news all around me. See, there is good news all around me. See, there is good news all around my house. There is good news all around my family. There is good news all year round for me. We are his workmanship. We are his creation. We are his artifact. We are his artistic work. God took time to sit down to design me. Sam is workmanship. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We are his trademarked product. We are copyrighted. I, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Tell me, about, tell me about I'm copyrighted. By God. My God. We are his workmanship. He took time, finished, and licensed us to himself. Amen. Tell anybody, I belong to God. For good works only. For good works only. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Number four. Number four, right? The anointing, the anointing helps you to start and finish something. Zechariah, the fourth chapter from verse 6. The anointing is what helps you to what? Oh, I've seen several people who keep wanting to start. It's as if they have a grace for wanting to start. I will start. I will start. I will do it. A year will go. Two will go. Three will go. My God. Tell anybody I refuse. I refuse. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Amen. I will do it. I will do it. Don't worry. I will do it. Year one. I will do it. I will do it. Year two. Oh, hallelujah. And so here was Jesus, hidden and unknown by anybody, just like Moses, just like Noah, just like Enoch, just like Elijah. I can call names upon names just like David until they met with the anointing. The anointing is what starts you. Yeah. If you are struggling to start, ah, hear this. Your problem is not money. Your problem is not the presence or the absence of capital. I've seen folks who say, you know, I have this wonderful business I want to start just that I need money. It is no money you need. Anyway, it's no money you need. It is anointing that you need. My God. How much money would you have to start a kingdom that will now make you king? Overnight, an ordinary man found himself on the throne. It is the anointing that puts you in command in life. It is the anointing that moves you to your throne. If you are not enthroned, it is the anointing that you need to get there. Tell me, but I'm going to my throne. Ah, yeah. And I see many who start but who don't finish. There are those who start. They're able to start something. Just start. The status anointing. Don't only get the starting anointing, have the finishing one. Start it. Tell anybody, start it. Start it. Finish, it. Finish, it. finish it. Say, start it. Finish it. Which of you wanting to build a house? Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Which of you wanting to build a house will not sit down to calculate? Jesus is speaking. Whether he has enough to not only start, but to finish. Ah, I'm concerned about this generation. Amen. There is a generation that knows how to start something, but they never finish. There are people who open books and they read chapter one, but they never finish. There are people who start out as Christians and they give their life and they do not finish. I, I, I don't know if I'm looking at somebody. There are people who enter relationships and they walk out in the middle. I don't know if I'm preaching to somebody. A point has to come in your life where you realize it is not just in the starting, but it's in the finishing. For the Bible says, for whosoever endures to the end, it says that one would receive his reward. The joy is not in the starting only. Thank God you started and people clap for you. But let me tell you the truth. There is a greater clap waiting for those who finish. Yeah. There is a greater clap waiting for those who finishes. Yeah. He answered and spake unto me saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. It is not by might. Have you seen people who start us on the day? They have zeal in the beginning. Hey! You won't hear what? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tap your neighbor and say you will finish well. Will finish. Say you will finish in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Say everything you have started. Amen. You will finish it in the name of Jesus. So what are you doing now? Hey, this year, I want to go to the gym. You see zeal and power. 
second week of January. Power. Third week, you go twice. My fourth week, you can't even remember you have somewhere you're supposed to go to. It's in December as you are reviewing the year. You suddenly realize, hey, Jesus, what happened? It is not enough to start. Anyway, it's not enough to start. You have to see the end from the very beginning. Am I talking to somebody? Pick a book. Don't just start it. Finish it. Half knowledge is more dangerous than lack of knowledge. Half knowledge is what? Because you will think you, are, you have the recipe and you know what you are doing. Don't get used to starting and not finishing. It's one of the challenges and the problems of a generation that is used to fast, fast everything. Imagine yourself on your way to Kiev. Huh? You bought a ticket. You are going to Kiev. And then when you get to Vinita, you just come down and say you have reached where you are going to. I remain there for another five years. Say, where are you now? I've reached where I'm going to. Don't be a starter only. Be a what? Finisher. Now, God is looking at him. He answered and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of the, of, of the Lord unto the robber, saying, Not by might. Anyway, it's not just by might, it's not by your ability, it's not by your looks, it's not by your present strength. Have you seen a situation where people where you tell them, you know, there's a common saying, go out there, if you want to do something, do something that you love. There are a lot of people doing what they love. And still, they start and they stop. It's not only in the loving it. It is not by what? Might. Not by what? Power. It's the spirit inside. Tell me where is the spirit inside. It's the spirit inside that makes the difference. Anointed. Say the Lord of hosts quickly because of time. Seven, 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 seven. Who are thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? There are some of you currently, there are things that are in front of you like mountains. That's why you stop. That's why you keep stopping. Every time there's this mountain, you start, then the mountain shows up. Tell anybody, it's part of the process. It's part of the process. The mountain is not intended to stop you. It is intended to promote you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The mountain is not intended to stop you. It is intended to promote you. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell anybody I need the mountains. Oh God, give me more mountains. Hallelujah. Give me the mountains and the giants therein. My God. Your story change. When you speak, you don't speak like somebody who has not been through anything. You know. Amen. Amen. You speak, you speak with stories. And when folks come to you, tell them, I've been there. Amen. But do I look like someone who's been there? I, I came through it and I'm on this other side. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Tell them I'm just passing through. I refuse to stop because of the mountains. Amen. Amen. Who? I refuse to stop at Vinita on my way to Kiev. Am I talking to somebody? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Imagine that moment when you're headed to Nigeria and here you are cruising in your flight and you're just flying and flying and flying and somewhere in the, in the middle of the trip and you're somewhere around the Atlantic Ocean and the pilot just tells you, um, it's okay for you to come down now. And you just, no. Hallelujah. That's when it makes sense to finish to you. Amen. 
Hallelujah. You're going to preach good. You're going to tell the pilot, I'm not just a starter, I'm a finisher. I refuse to get down at this point. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Some of you coming down, getting out in the midst of the Atlantic Ocean. Don't get out at the wrong time. Amen. Amen. When you get out at the wrong time, there will be no pleasantries waiting to receive you. You know, the beauty of arriving at your point of destination is there's someone on the other side. I just heard God. Amen. There's someone on the other side. The reason you've not gotten what you're looking for is because you stopped midway. Amen. There is someone waiting for you at the other side to receive you. Tell anybody, there's someone waiting for me. So I'm going through this mountain. So I'm going through this mountain. Oh my God. Amen. Amen. There's someone waiting on the other side. Amen. Amen. Wow. There's a convoy waiting for me. Amen. Tell anybody, there's a convoy waiting for me. I refuse to stop here. Amen. Amen. There are friends waiting for me. There are lovers waiting for me. Amen. There are families waiting for me. Amen. There's a husband waiting for me. Amen. There's a wife waiting for me. Amen. I don't even know somebody. There are children waiting for me. I got to finish my race. I got to finish my race. I got to finish my race. Amen. Unpack your bags here. Don't celebrate too early. Amen. Amen. Don't be so excited you got in the plane. Be more excited when you arrive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell me about my arriving. I'm Hallelujah. Amen. Say, watch me take off. Watch me, watch me land. Watch me arrive. arrive. Amen. Amen. Please quickly, verse 8, verse 8, because of time. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, 9. Nine, 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 quickly. The hands of zero have laid the foundation. Tell anybody hands. Amen. That's the place. The hands of zero baby have laid the foundation. They started the work. I don't know about you. What I start, I must finish. Amen. Am I talking to somebody in this church? Yes, Amen. Amen. Say what I start, I must finish. So I will not come out prematurely. So I will not graduate prematurely. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What I start, I must finish. Hallelujah. Amen. The hands of Zerubbabel have, has laid the foundation. He started the work. And the midway challenges started coming. Amen. Amen. His hands, God says, shall also finish it. Amen. Amen. Ay, 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 ay. I refuse to stop prematurely. I refuse to what? I refuse to leave a department because of what somebody else says. Unless you started it yourself. Unless you called yourself there. I refuse to stop because someone says I can't. Hallelujah. Amen. I refuse to stop because someone doesn't believe in me. Amen. I refuse to listen and be comfortable that someone said, oh, you don't even think of it. No, 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 no. I'm in it already. I'm going to start it. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to prove to you that you were wrong. Amen. The hands of Zerubbabel has laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Whenever God sends you, he anoints you. Amen. Whenever what? If you've been sent, you've been anointed. You know what the Bible says? For whom he, for he giveth not his spirit in measure to him whom he has sent. Whenever he sends you, he gives you his spirit, his anointing for the work. When he gives the vision, he makes the provision. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell me, I'm anointed to finish. Say, I'm anointed to finish. I wasn't just anointed to start. I was anointed to finish. Oh, I wish somebody understood what I'm preaching about now. You, you, you don't have to be scared again. Oh, how will I graduate? No, 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 no. no. I was anointed not just to start. I wasn't just anointed to write croc one.
Amen. Amen. I was anointed for crook too, too. Yes, Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 For the Bible says, for the God who has begun a good work in you is able to bring it onto what? Perfection. Is able to finish. To finish it. God, unless God is not involved. If God's involved, he going to finish it. Amen. Tell him why he's going to finish it. My God. My God. You know that kind of that moment when the movie ends suddenly? They put to be continued. Tell me, but I ain't done yet. yet. Say, I ain't done yet. Say, I know you thought that was the conclusion. No, but that's just a break. Watch out for more. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. Tell them I'm about to break some records. You know, there are there, some of you who have been, your life has been in a pause. You know, there are records that are 50 years old. There are some records 60 years old. There are some records 100 years old. There are some records, in fact, only one time and somebody set it and nobody has broken it since then. Tell neighbor, I'm coming to break new records. I'm, I'm coming to set new ones. I don't know if you're understanding me. The anointing helps you to finish. And the beauty of it is set you apart from everybody else. Where they say, nobody has done this before. And you say, I just did it. I know you thought I was coming to ask your permission to do it, but I just came to tell you, it's already done. Amen. Tell anybody it's already done. It's already done. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Amen. That moment when they say nobody has been a doctor in the family. Amen. Amen. You just tell them, how I'm already practicing. Amen. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Yes, ah, Amen. Amen. I tell you, you're too young for this. It's a small boy like you. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Say, ah, in our place, nobody buys brand new cow. Yeah. Every is second hand. Can you buy brand new? Hey! Don't even think, why would you waste money like that? Say, ah. Say it, was, it just happened. It just happened. It may just happen. Tell anybody it just happened. Yeah. I don't know if I'm preaching to somebody today. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, <clears throat> you, it's the vine love it. You, and it's going to meet me prepared. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell me, I ain't playing. Say, so I ain't playing. Amen. Amen. Say, so I'm ready for this thing. Say, so I'm ready for this thing. Keep the iron be blunt. The anointing is what sharpens you. Tell me, I'm, I'm getting sharper. So I'm getting sharper. I'm getting sharper. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm able to make right decisions. Right choices. I know what to say and what not to say. Who to talk to and who not to talk to. Who to relate with and who not to relate with. I don't have, I don't have spare time to waste. Some things, the anointing makes you sharp. You just cut off some things. You just cut off some things. And you go where you should be going to. You enter the right door. Amen. Amen. You meet the right person. You don't act confused. Amen. Amen. You don't be testing all waters. Amen. Testing all waters. The anointing changes all that. Hey, I'll go and see if this one will work. I'll go and see if this one will work. I'll go and see if this one will work. You can be directed by the spirit to the direct thing you need. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The anointing of the Lord is resting upon you in a very strong way. Isaiah 11, Isaiah 11 from verse 1. Isaiah 11 from verse 1. There shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Verse 2. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. 
That's the anointing. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Doing the following. The spirit of wisdom, it will make you wise. Let me speaking to somebody. You stop. You stop beating about the bush. Paul says, I'm not as one who beat about the air. You're confused. You don't know. You don't know. Chai. Say, what will happen to this our future now? Is this, is this, oh, you. My God, deliver your people. The Lord is delivering you. Amen. Amen. The Lord is what? Amen. Amen. The anointing changes everything. You're not confused. Anyway, I refuse to be confused. Yeah. You stop guessing. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. You, you, you know, you are able to release counsel. You're not confused. Anyway, I'm not confused. So I refuse to be confused. I'm too anointed to be confused. I don't know which business to do. Why? Amen. Amen. Why? Tell anybody why. The Bible said the anointing teaches you all things. When you're full of the spirit and the anointing, you suddenly have knowledge. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Verse 3 is really, it's even more interesting. 3, 3, 3. And shall make him of quick understanding. That's the sharpness I'm talking about. Makes you sharp. Tell anybody sharp. You're mentally sharp. You're mentally sharp. You have exam to write. You are a cheat. Hmm. You are a mercenary. Am I talking to somebody in this place? You have answers that you don't know where they are coming from. When you read it, you read like someone who has an inside information. I must, can I preach to people in this church? You must stop relying on your strengths alone. When he's come, he will teach you all things. And will bring to your remembrance everything that I've said unto you. He shows up in dreams and whispers to you. Some knowledge. It tells you where to read. You don't have to act confused suddenly. Hey, wake up. So today's exam. I don't feel prepared enough. I don't think I'm ready. Or, hey, I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. You, you, you speak like, sorry to say, one of the foolish ones. That's what Job said to his wife, why do you speak like one of the foolish women out there? You know, why why said that you speak like someone who does not regard God? I mean, I mean, you don't say you don't make such trances when you know. Greater is he. I don't know if I'm preaching in this church. It's like some of you have gone home. Tell anybody, greater is he that is in me than he that's in the classroom. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the classroom. I know, I know, I know. What number is that? Five. Number six. You see, you see, you see let me show you now. The anointing is what moves you from theory to practical. It's what? You know, you know, you know, you know I, I, I know the problem of some of you. It's not that like you don't know the scriptures or you don't know the word of God, but you don't know how to apply it. It is the anointing that moves you from theories, head knowledge, to practicals. When you are in church and when it's time to pray, see power today that is coming from you. When you get to class, you are just weak, scared and afraid. Your destiny suddenly is in teacher's hand. And God is asking, when did I put your destiny there? The anointing sets you apart.
Hallelujah.